Today in Review This Thing, we're here at Camping World to take you on a feature review tour of the Heartland Eddie Bauer 33 FK. This is Robbie. And this is Adrian with Review This Thing. And we are excited to take you on a tour of the Heartland Eddie Bauer 33 FK. We've had the opportunity to tour a couple of Eddie Bauer signature RVs, and we've really been impressed so far. We're pretty excited to show you this one because we think it could be the ideal luxury traveling RV for couples right up our alley. All right, if you're ready, let's do it. The Heartland Eddie Bauer 33 FK is just over 37 feet long, eight feet wide, and 11 feet tall. It has a dry weight just shy of 8,000 pounds and a GVWR just under 11,500 pounds. It has dual 5,100 pound axles with easy lube hubs and electric brakes and ultra smooth sided aluminum sidewalls. At 331 square feet, they say it can comfortably sleep five to six people. Now that we've covered all that, let's start our tour up here at the front. You see an electric tongue jack, which makes hooking and unhooking always much easier. There's your two 20 pound propane tanks. And then back here is a space for your battery and 12 volt distribution system. And now we want to show you the backside. You're going to get your first look at one of the two slides. Now between the two slides is where you're going to see most of your hookups. You have your city water connection and then an outdoor spray port, your satellite and cable and your 50 amp power hookup, which is at least partially due to the fact that this is prepped for two AC units. Now below here, you're going to see your terminations. The 33 FK has a 44 gallon freshwater tank, a 60 gallon gray tank and 30 gallon black tank, as well as a six gallon water heater. As we keep moving down the 33 FK, we're going to see two more storage spaces. You have your magnetic closures, of course, a really good size storage area there. One thing I like about the fact that there are two storage spaces that you can have different spaces for different things. So I think it helps keep things a little bit better organized. As we come around to the rear, you'll see your square bumper, which has storage for your hoses, and then a spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but it's there if you do. It's also prepped for a backup camera and a Lippert ladder, which gets you up on the top to a fully walkable 3 8 inch decking roof. Now we'll go around to the front of the 33 FK. First thing you'll notice is actually where your washer and dryer could go. There is an entrance to this from the inside as well. If you don't have a washer and dryer, you can just use it as a storage space. Here are the controls for your rear leveling jacks and the front ones will be up there at the front. As we move towards the front, the first thing you'll notice is an exterior speaker. Next up is a secondary entrance. We'll talk more about that inside, but the cool thing is it actually goes into the master bedroom, which is nice because if you have guests, you can move in and out of the RV without even bothering them. Overhead, you can see a 20 foot power awning that actually covers both entrances and has a strip of LED lights underneath. Now we're gonna head up to the front before we go inside. So the first thing you're gonna see is another storage space where the solar charge controller is. A little bit more extra storage you can get to pretty quickly from out here. And then right beside here is the control for the power jack that we have up front. And then you may think this is more storage, but it is actually a cute little outside kitchen. We always love having a mini fridge. Anytime you don't have to go inside to get your drinks, it's awesome. But additionally, because it has this little grill station we pulled out, you could always leave your burgers or your steaks in the fridge while they marinate. And here you see the propane quick connect that's gonna hook up here below. Also handy because if you have a pizza oven or a Blackstone or something like that, you can cook out here with that also. And then we have an outdoor outlet and your cable hookup so that you can also watch TV while you grill out, watch the game, or watch a fun movie. And next is the step above, just nice wide aluminum steps with the grips and then a big folding grab bar, which makes it easier to get inside. It's kind of cold and windy out here, so let's go on inside and check it out. The first thing you're gonna see is this very spacious living area. And right up front are some dual recliners. Really comfy. I could hang out here for a while. You have cup holders, you have a little storage here for your remotes, and these pair very nicely with our television, which is going to be right up here. So this actually is on a swivel arm, so you can bring it out and face it right toward your recliners. And it seems we're going to carry over the whole lots of storage thing. Right above your recliners are two more storage cabinets. And next you have your jackknife sofa. It's going to have some storage underneath, and then it folds out into a bed. You know we like to check these out, so let's see how much room there is here. I'm 5'4". Can I lay all the way flat? Mm, just barely. If I go diagonally, then yeah, I have plenty of room. So if you're 5'4 or shorter, 
This could be actually a pretty comfy sleeping space. As far as the comfort of the couch, it's not too bad. These are kind of firm, but the back is cushy. And there's gonna be more storage space up here as well. While we're in the living space, here's that 39 inch TV that we mentioned, as well as this JBL entertainment system. It's gonna be connected to your inside and outside speakers. Then we have some storage space under here. You know they love these beautiful graystone electric fireplaces. These are great for just kicking off the chill, give you a little bit of extra heat, and of course, who doesn't like watching the fire? Now for the dining room. We have our dinette table with these big fluffy cushions. Plenty of room for me to eat at least. This dinette also turns into a sleeper, so let's do it and see what kind of space we have. All right, I'm 5'10", so I'm not gonna fit here straight, but if I'm curled up in a ball, like I usually sleep anyways, this could be comfortable. You do have a little bit of shallow storage underneath these seat cushions. And then of course, that is open underneath the seat so that you could slide some stuff in there too. Before we move into the kitchen, I want to point out that the flooring in the slide is not carpet, but it is a really nice wooden look linoleum. So it should be a whole lot easier to clean and at least somewhat waterproof. I also want to point out that the 33FK has an in-floor ducted 35,000 BTU furnace and a dual ducted 13,500 BTU AC unit. Now let's take a look at this kitchen at the front, which I kind of like because it it, I guess that's part of why we have so much room here. So we have these storage cabinets here. There's a shelf up here where you can put some things, some drawers, and then below, this is kind of where I like to keep my trash can. So it'd be nice if one side maybe didn't have a shelf. We have another cabinet tucked away over here in the corner. You have this nice sized marble look pressed countertop. You have prep room and then even enough room in the corner for maybe your coffee pot or something like that. And we can't forget this stainless steel drop-in single basin sink. And then of course this high-rise removable sprayer faucet. I also point out here in the corner is an outlet that is inverter ready. So if you want to run off a generator, then you're ready to go. We have your three burner gas stove, RV industry first, air fryer oven. If you have an air fryer at home, you know how good those are. Above there, you have your light and your fan and your Greystone microwave. And then for what I think is one of the coolest features of this RV kitchen, a huge 16 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator freezer. Now we'll finish off the kitchen with more storage. This is a really good size pantry. Now let's move towards the rear. The first thing that we come to is the bathroom, which is really nice and big and spacious. I'm very impressed with this corner shower. These ABS surround walls give it a really neat look. As we step into it, I'm 5'10 and I still have plenty of room even before the roof. With these circular closing doors, I really feel like I've got a lot of space in here and can move around easily. Out here, we have that same press countertop like in the kitchen, a nice faucet, and a medicine cabinet. You have a GFCI outlet right here, and a little bit more storage space underneath the sink. In this corner is a porcelain foot flush toilet. Don't forget on this side, I know you're probably getting tired of us saying it, but here's some more storage. We'll finish off our tour of the Heartland 80 Bauer 33 FK with the master bedroom. I really like that this bedroom is all the way on the end of the RV. That way, if one of you gets up a little bit earlier than the other one and wanna go enjoy your coffee, you can easily do so without bothering the one that's still sleeping. Speaking of sleeping, you'll see a nice size 60 by 80 queen bed that is actually pretty comfy. Also on both sides of the bed are outlets and then above the bed is a little bit more storage as well as some breathing lights with USB connectors. Underneath the bed, you guessed it, more storage. Plenty of storage over here and for all you dog lovers, a built-in pet kennel. Behind this mirror is a really good size wardrobe for all your hanging clothes and then a shelf for up top. Just next to that is a closet that we talked about from the outside that has your washer and dryer hookups. But if not, it's another good size closet. Last but not least, more storage. It's right below where you've got TV hookups, a cable hookup, and an outlet. We'll finish off our tour by showing you the secondary entrance that we talked about from the outside. We should and there you have our complete feature tour of the Heartland 80 Bauer 33 FK. We appreciate you coming along with us. If you enjoyed the video, give us that thumbs up, comment and let us know what you think. And if you haven't, Take a second and subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.
Hey, thanks for watching our Heartland Eddie Bauer 33FK Complete Feature Review Tour. While you're here, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment, let us know what you think, and subscribe. Take a second to check out our website, ReviewTheSingTV.com. We also have an Amazon storefront you should see, a hauler store, and then follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and Pinterest.